guys, breakfast is going to be an omelet and we're gonna start out by using 100 grams of these hash browns. And I'm gonna stir fry them in my skillet and then I'm going to add them inside an omelet. But first I wanna show you the turkey pepperoni. This is again from Aldi. It seems like I'm buying everything over there lately. Uh, serving of this and I think I'm only gonna cut it down to 12 slices. And I scrambled up one whole egg and three egg whites. And then I laid the 12 slices of turkey pepperoni on top. And as soon as these potatoes are fully cooked to where I like them, a little bit crunchy and some a little bit soft, I'll fold them right inside the egg omelet. And I'm going to show you that right now is to where I flip it over. And sometimes some of the potatoes fall out. Not a big deal. I'll just scoop them back in later. But then I let it cook just another few seconds on both sides. Here it is inside the plate, and as you can see, I tore it open just so you could see the potatoes and the pepperoni on the inside. I'm gonna um, top this with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. I just need a little something on top. So I bought the, um, the jar of Parmesan Pecorino Romano, again, from Aldi. What else is new? <laughs> and I sprinkled uh, two teaspoons on top. So I'm gonna show you the calories right now. So you can see 306 calories for this entire plate of food. And then here's the breakdown from the Weight Watchers point. So a total of five points. What a fabulous breakfast packed with protein, some quick carbs, and now I'm gonna head out to the gym. All right, so the gym was amazing and now I'm hungry. So I have some iceberg lettuce and some baby spinach. I like chopped salads, so I chopped it up really good with a big knife. I have some mushrooms, some celery, a couple of those sweet mini peppers, and a cucumber. And I'm going to just pour all of those chopped veggies right on top. Doesn't that look good? And look at the colors. That's how you know you're eating balanced. So here we have this I buy at Costco. I've showed these before. Calories are amazing. Um, it's three ounces for the serving. I did four ounces, I believe. And look at the protein, guys. And look at everything else. This is fabulous. If you guys love chicken, it's already cooked, so I just throw it in the air fryer to heat it up. And as always, my G. Hughes sugar-free salad dressing, two tablespoons are 60 calories. So I'm gonna add the two tablespoons of the dressing on top of the salad and let's pull that chicken right out of the air fryer. Look at that. That's actually twice the amount. I gave some to Jess and I only had a couple of pieces and then I chopped them up as well. So this is, be, this is a chopped salad. Best way to eat it in my opinion. So I'm gonna put the calories up. Here they come. All right, there are the calories under 400. We're at 394 calories for this entire bowl of food and nine Weight Watchers points, which is phenomenal for such a voluminous and healthy meal. All right, moving on to snack time, I decided to have two tablespoons of pecans. When I turn the bag around, you're gonna see the macros, which are technically for a quarter of a cup. So I was a little bit under that. But, you know, nuts, even though they're very, very calorically dense, uh, you can just measure it out and have it the way you're supposed to. At 105 calories, it was a really good snack, and the added fat definitely kept me satisfied. We have three points for this snack, and I don't know what's for dinner tonight. I have a couple things in mind, so we will see you at that time. Dinner time is here, and I decided to do a Trader Joe's Mahi Mahi Burger. Going to have one of these, and here's the macros for it. One burger is 140 calories, does have some healthy fat, nice protein level. And then I'm going to do one cup of cauliflower rice. I'm just going to steam this in the microwave, I'm not going to add anything fancy to it. So I'm going to put the Weight Watchers points up for you. So as you can see, this is a really low point dinner. It's two points total. And I think that pretty much sums up my day. Let's get to the full day check of point value and the calorie count for the day. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So guys, here's the calories for the day, 965. Very, very low calorie day. 
I'm not hungry right now. Uh, I feel like this is just a lot of food. And remember, I'm not used to all this food in a day. Uh, I may have some fruit or some popcorn later on, which will add some calories because I really don't want to go under a thousand if I can help it. But as you see here, I used all of my points. Um, I also did not do any um, healthy fat in form of olive oil or anything like that. So I don't know what I'm going to have for a snack later, but I am going to do something. But um, just wanted you to see. So tomorrow is my first official weigh-in day on Weight Watchers. And I will be making a video to show you tomorrow. And I appreciate you watching and thank you. And remember, we can do this. Yes, we can. As long as we do it together. Me and you. You and me, 2023 is our year and we're making it happen. I hope you all have a great night. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.